Hello everyone. In this talk, I'm going to present our general first paper at XC 2020. This paper was first published in IEEE Transactions on Software Engineering. In this work, we studied the obsolete answers on Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a question answering website for programming knowledge. The crowdsourced knowledge on Stack Overflow has increased rapidly over the years. For example, from 2013 to 2019, the number of answers has more than tripled. Stack Overflow has become the primary site for programming knowledge. As we know that software are rapidly evolving. As I showed here are two examples. They are Android and Angular with many versions over the years. Every year, Stack Overflow conducts a user survey and uh, in this plot, I showed that users are concerned about the outdated information. In addition, people are also discussing about how the answers become obsolete by commenting. Therefore, we conducted a empirical study to analyze knowledge obsolescence on Stack Overflow. We use a keyword searching to find 52,000 answer threads that are obsolete. And out of these answers, we manually sampled 669. Here I'm going to present uh, some of our main findings. For more details, you can refer to our papers. First, we found that when people post uh, answers on Stack Overflow, more than half of these answers were already obsolete when they were first posted. Therefore, automated tools are needed to maintain these obsolete answers. Once the answers become obsolete, we uh, identify who is going to um, observe these obsolete answers. And we found that uh, the majority of these obsolete answers were not observed by the original answers. And when users provide the observations to obsolete answers, uh, they pointed out a different uh, artifact for obsolescence, such as APIs, programming languages, and the references. We also highlight here that the knowledge obsolescence can have two different types. One that we labeled in gray color is the knowledge that is no longer work. And uh, in another type, we labeled in black as a knowledge that is not recommended, which are usually exist in legacy systems. We also identified whether these uh, obsolescence observations provide uh, supporting evidence. And we found that the majority of them provide some supporting evidence. However, uh, evidence is such as uh, providing the version information and the highlight the time, uh, not too many. Therefore, we suggest the answers should increase the information such about the valid version or the time when the knowledge was created. At the last, we check whether these obsolete answers are maintained or not. And we found 20.5% of the obsolete answers are eventually updated. And only 6.3% of the obsolete answers have new answers. And it takes 118 days for users to update or add their answers. Therefore, uh, the maintenance effort on knowledge obsolescence on Stack Overflow is very rare. We also noticed that when people notice this uh, answer obsolescence, it's usually occurred in comments. Therefore, we conducted a follow-up study to analyze all the comments on Stack Overflow. And we found that the majority of these comments are informative they can provide the information such as answer obsolescence, or they can point out the security vulnerabilities. For more details, you can refer to our papers here. 
And at last, we suggest the stack of flow should encourage the maintenance of the obsolete answers, such as by rewarding badges or reputation points because of the low uh, maintenance effort currently. So to sum it up, in this study, we are study the knowledge evolution on stack of flow. And we found that uh, more than half of the obsolete answers were already obsolete when they were posted. And we characterize the different uh, supporting evidences when the obsolete knowledge is ob observed. And at the last, we characterize how these obsolete answers are maintained. Mm, thank you for the listening. And please let me know if you have any questions.